Hey, what's ever up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back. I'm James, and you're watching Blue Dog Reptiles. Now, thanks to a local subscriber, we got a request to do a care guide on these amazing guys. And this is a this specific morph is a Pine Island lychee, uh, or a lychianus gecko. These guys get really big and are super super cool. But we wanted to do a very awesome care guide for you so that you guys could see how these guys are and so that this local subscriber can uh, take better care of his lychee since he just picked one up uh, he asked us to do this so we're doing it just for him um, but with that being said guys thank you so much to all the new subscribers we uh, this channel keeps growing growing more and more we bring you new reptile care guides each and every Friday and if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. Leave us a comment down below if you are a new subscriber. And to all you fellow subscribers that are already tuning in, uh, thank you so much for supporting us. We couldn't do this without you guys. But without further ado, let's jump into this. So you can see he was hidden. I moved this fern out of his way so we could actually see him. But this is just a small setup because this is a baby. Uh, this is an eight by eight by 12. And it's just a temporary housing for him until he gets a little bit bigger. Hopefully he's not here that long, but um, we'll go over everything as far as care and uh, what you need to know about these amazing animals. These guys are from New Caledonia, um, also known as the New, Cal New Caledonian giant gecko. The enclosures, and like I said, the enclosures, and let's see if I can use my other hand to hold the camera and move these back so we can get a better shot of him. I don't know. He's just way in the back, but you can see it. They got sticky feet, so these guys do like to climb glass, and yep, yeah, he's just very observant. But, so this size tank, the 8x8x12, is perfect for a baby. Um, but when these guys get full grown, these guys get huge. Eight to 17 inches. You heard me right, a 17 inch gecko. And that's why as adults, these guys need an enclosure as an adult. And I'm saying it emphasize as an adult, a 48 inch long, a 24 inch wide, and a 48 inch tall enclosure just for these guys. The lifespan is just over 20 years, but they can live longer. Diets on these guys can be, uh, you can do a crested gecko diet, but you can also uh, do insects, which is their primary diet. I'm sorry, you're gonna hear some background because my store is actively open right now. Um, but insects is gonna be their primary diet. Uh, they like uh, crickets, roaches, mealworms. These guys are nocturnal. That's why he's not moving around a whole lot right now. And he was hiding behind the fern that I just pulled back. Um, but let's get on, let's see if I can move it, but you see how much coverage he has here. That is what you're looking for with the new Caledonian, uh, gecko. Um, we have pieces of cork down here and then little pieces of spider. And we have this big fern that gives lots and lots of coverage for, for the gecko, which is very, very perfect and very crucial. Um, these guys don't like being open and exposed. But, and you can also see down here, uh, we can kind of go into, this is a bioactive enclosure. You can see the clay balls down there and we have, which is the drainage letter layer, which is very important because these do, guys do need high humidity. Now, <laughs> this fern is just, we were gonna put another plant in here, but this fern has done its job and uh, gives very optimal uh, coverage. And being as these guys are surface drinkers, you wanna make sure to mist that's why there's no water dish in here you want to make sure to mist the glass and then we at the same time that we're watering the fern we're also spraying down and you'll see him come out and lick the leaves because they're drinking off the leaves um but temperature for these guys should be between 70 and 85 uh typically mid 70s mid to high 70s is perfect for them you don't want to go over than 85 you can actually cook these guys they can't tolerate the heat that some geckos can. Um, but humidity, that's why I recommend a bioactive is because these guys need humidity between 60 and 80%. You heard that right. 
So make sure that you are misting these guys twice a day. And uh, that way they have something to drink and it holds the humidity. I also recommend live plants. Not only do they look better, but they give plenty of coverage for him and make him feel safe. I did say these guys are arboreal, so you're not gonna see them down on the ground. If you do see them on the ground, um, if you have a bigger one, it could be that either they're laying eggs or they're not feeling well. So make sure that you have an exotic vet in your repertoire that you can take them to or have your vet come look at them. Um, supplements, because these guys are nocturnal, they don't need any specialty lighting and so you don't have to produce UVB for these guys. However, UVB is always uh, beneficial to geckos, uh, especially the nocturnal ones, because as you can see, he's out. He's not down in a hide, but so a UV light wouldn't hurt at all. But you still need to dust with calcium. So calcium on these guys needs to be, you need to have D3 and then you also need vitamins. That's going to be crucial as these guys grow, but these guys are going to be slow growers. They're not going to be something that's a 17 inch gecko overnight. It's going to take them a couple of years to get to that point. So if you're freaking out because you don't think your setup's big enough, um, just be mindful. You will, it's not like, oh no, I need to have this new enclosure tomorrow. You have some time. Um, but like I said, bioactive setups are the way to go for these guys. Uh, helps humidity, helps promote overall uh, healthy tank. And then uh, we also have spring tails in here as well. And that helps because of the high humidity, it helps uh, control the population of mold, um, which anytime you have very saturated soil, mold can occur and the spring tails will actually eat those. So yeah, guys. These guys are one of my favorites. Um, they are not an animal that I would take on willy-nilly. Uh, they are, like I said, a very sensitive gecko. Um, I would put them at about an intermediate level for care, but, and this is definitely not a gecko that you're gonna be holding. They, you see in pictures that people do hold the adults, but these babies, you can stress them out so much. And so, I would recommend just leaving them alone and letting them do their thing. Um, if you do have to handle them, just be very mindful, wash your hands with soap and water before and after, that way you're not bringing any foreign contaminants to the gecko itself or its environment. So we will push this back so he feels safe and all that. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope uh, my subscriber, I hope that this helped you out with setting up your new enclosure for your lychee. And uh, as always, guys, keep your family close and your reptiles closer.